Good afternoon. I am sorry for the delay of today's devotion, but I woke up a little dizzy today. Now, some of you who know me are thinking, Jody, you're always dizzy. But no, this was a literal dizzy where all the my allergy goop in my head like made my house spin. Not a pleasant experience. But I did take some allergy congestion junk and I'm feeling better. So I'm thinking I can read now. That's probably more than you wanted to know, but who else am I going to talk to when you just live with two cats? Um, today's devotion is called Tall Tales and Lying Lips. Why did I pick this? Because um, often when I'm watching the news stations, I'm thinking, is this truth? Or is this your version of the truth? Or when I read Facebook, is this truth? Or is this someone's version of the truth? So let's find what Luisa Reyes and Peel um, says about tall tales and lying lips. The key verse is Ephesians 4.25. Therefore, having put away falsehood, let each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. The devotion reads, my th three-year-old niece, Michaela, was entertaining us with her stuffed Mickey Mouse when she started vigorously scratching her arm. I asked if she had been bitten by an ant, and she said, No! Lexi puts detergent on my arm, so I have been itching. Concerned, I asked her mom if this was true. You know what stories these two cook up. Michaela's sister, Le Lexi, is two years old. And between the two siblings, they are known for their escapades. We might put a toddler's tall tale in the same category as stretching the facts. For instance, when we are describing a funny event that happened to us, sometimes isn't it so tempting to stretch the facts to make the story even funnier? Or when something goes wrong, we find it easy to just gloss over some small details that reveal the part that we played in the situation. God is crystal clear on lying. The Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in those who tell the truth. Proverbs 12, 22. But is it ever right to tell a lie? Pastor John Piper was asked. His answer, It is possible to be a person who never intentionally lies and yet be a hardened sinner living in darkness and cut off from Christ in unbelief. And it is possible to be a person who fears the Lord, walks by faith, and yet feel constrained in extreme life-threatening situations to oppose evil by lying intentionally. As Christians, lying is a behavior that is part of our old natures. We are inclined to lie because the old nature is enslaved to deceitful desires. Usually, they are desires based on greed or fear. Ephesians 4.22 warns us to put off our old natures so that we can then speak truth. The secret to being able to do this is in renewing our minds with the promises of God. Romans 12.2 And as I tell the students back in CBC Kids Room, you can't speak the truths if you haven't read them. He speaks to our grade and fear all through his word. God can help us watch our words each time we open our mouth. Reflection. Do you struggle with lying of some sort or another? Let's pray. God, we ask that you would set a guard, O oh Lord, over our mouths. Keep watch over the door of our lips that we can speak the truth and that we can withstand the temptation to color the truth or say, speak in half truths and that we wouldn't sin by omission. Help us to speak the truth and to speak the truth in love. In Jesus name, amen. And here's another speak the truth. My left side is my short side. Can we just say that this stuff needs cut? So Miss Brooke, has an appointment for me tomorrow and I'm very happy because my short side is now as long as my long side back when my long side was short. Does that make sense? Yes, I'm going stir crazy. Have a lovely day.